Hi ho folks and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle the Gnome Mage. Well hi Turwinkle. Salutation. Are you all set for tonight sir? Indubitably. Well great because tonight we are going to go and talk to Kiana, a wonderful role player here on the Moon Guard server and we are going to find out all about her role play, a little bit about her and some advice for you new role players out there and maybe for some of you veterans as well. And so without further ado, let us go find and talk with Kiana. Alrighty folks, well we are here and oh I see her over here. Let's let's go over there, Turwinkle. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Kiana, hello, madam. Hi. It is so wonderful to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. And so here we are. We are actually in your garrisons. And let me tell you, uh, the Alliance garrisons are so much nicer than uh, the uh, Horde side, I have to say. Yeah, why live in a whole bunch of sticks and snow when you can have all this? Right, exactly. <laughs> And so we have Kiana here. She is the curate of the souls of Lordaeron Silverhand. She is a level 100 human priest. She is Kiana, the Light of Dawn. And so I guess the first question we have to ask you, Kiana, is how long have you been playing WoW? I've been playing WoW since just before BC came out, but I've only been role playing a year and a half. Okay, and so why did you choose a human to play? My first character was a Draenei and it was only because she was, I transferred her to the server and then I was sitting around doing one of what must have been the most boring trials ever on my <laughs> Draenei and I came up with a story for a human and I found I liked it more. Oh, excellent. And you are also playing a priestess. And why have you chosen a priestess to play? I always played a priest when I was raiding, and so I just kind of like priests. And I also wanted to be able to do certain types of role play on the server. Okay. And I guess the last question for this segment is, how did you come up with the name uh, Kiana? It just came to me. Oh, wonderful. And do you use that for any other characters on any other games that you might play? No, I don't use it for other games, but I do use it for logins for accounts for things like Tumblr. Okay. <laughs> well, excellent. Yeah, most folks, when they find a certain name that they really like, they, they use it for all sorts of different things. And I know for myself, I use Turwinkle as well for a lot of different uh, things that I do. So excellent. And so folks, when we come back, we are going to start learning all about Kiana's role play history, her style. And so we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so Kiana, what is your role play style? Are you a heavy role player, medium, light? Yeah, I'm a heavy role player. Do you, are you like a multi-paragrapher or are you do you kind of fit your role play in with the people that you're role playing with? What what kind of style is it? Um, I tend to write shorter remotes. I like the back and forth of conversations and I feel like waiting for long paragraphs breaks that up. Okay, would you consider yourself a reactionary role player or someone that plans their role play out? The important things I plan out, but if it's just walk up role play with friends, it's reactionary. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Now, for those of you folks that did not listen, and shame on you for not listening, but for those of you that did not listen to the Looking for Roleplay podcast in the Poetry and Creative Writing Part 2 episode, you missed out on Kiana's backstory, and she has a wonderful, wonderful story read by Dravi on that episode. But you're in luck because we have Kiana herself here to kind of fill us in on the backstory to Kiana. So if you would do the honors, ma'am. Yep. That story was actually written as part of for a role play session I was planning with a friend. And there was a follow up to that that I didn't share because I didn't have the person's permission. But in terms of her backstory, her mother was crazy and she abused her husband and Kiana 
and when all the scarlets and tears hand started turning into the undead and her parents were off in Northrend fighting there, Kiana managed to escape to Stormwind and she spent a year on the streets with no confidence and I started role play on her when she'd been there for a year. And she is now a much happier, happier person, I am happy to say. She's very happy. Yes. <laughs> So, folks, do tur- do turn in to the uh, LFRP podcast, and you can hear the, an excerpt from her past there. That is very, you can very well see that her mother is very crazy and very mean to Kiana, and it was it's almost heartbreaking to see her go through that, but I'm happy to say that she is on the other end of that and actually on the polar opposite of that and is a very happy happy individual at this time now uh, as she is right now ma'am where is she at currently in her storyline right now she's helping to rebuild the silver hand and lauder on and she's just given birth to twin girls and she has a new romantic interest in her life because her husband had died before the babies were born Oh no. Well, uh, well, I mean, it sounds like things are getting better, but that's a shame that uh, the husband passed away. And I imagine Kiana will not be making her girls eat a dead frog in a cake. Is that correct? Heck no. Kiana's going to make all the new mother (laughs) mistakes, not wanting them to experience any of what she did. Right. (laughs) So picture mother getting up every time they cry and all that, that sort of thing. And I imagine grandma is not invited over. No. <laughs> but then she's dead. Oh, oh, good. Well, and, and folks, believe me when I say, oh, good, that, that is a very good thing. Once again, go listen. If, if, if again, if you're able to go listen to that uh, excerpt, it's a wonderful, wonderful story. It'll, dark, but it really goes to her, to Quiana's storyline and makes it a very interesting one. And it's fun to see where she has come to at this point. So, folks, with that, We will be right back. All righty, folks, and we are back. And so, Kiana, as, again, we are cross-roamed over, we cannot read your MRP. And and hopefully they're working on that. I imagine they are because now there's so much cross-roaming that's involved in a lot of role play. And so, but just because I can't read it, we're going to pretend I can. And let us say that I've clicked on your MRP what are some of the highlights in your MRP that people would come across if they read it? Well, when you mouse over her, the tooltip tells you that she's a prioress and baroness of Cowtonshire, and that her nickname's Key, and she's the curator of souls for the Lord on Silver Hand. And it also tells you that her twins have been born. And then in her description tab, it dis- describes her as being a small thin girlish kind of woman like not completely developed and with smooth red hair and that sort of thing okay and now i know does it have it has the motto and stuff does kiana have a motto she does have a motto well it it was from when she had a therapist and she the therapist was a mage and she never knew where she was going so it went along the lines of saruv where are we going now (laughs) Wonderful. Excellent. And so what I love about MRPs is, again, it really allows you to kind of give people more of a description of what your character uh, looks like and the things that you can expect when you're role playing with them. Um, And certainly she is uh, kind of a thin, thin, underdeveloped woman. Is that because of her childhood? Partly, yeah. I mean, genetically, she would be a very small person anyway. And then because she didn't have the best of upbringing, she didn't develop as well as other women might have. Right. Well, excellent, excellent. And so, folks, when we come back, we are going to peek behind the screen a little bit and learn a little bit about Kiana in real life. So we'll be right back with that. All righty, and we are back. And so, Kiana... We'll talk a little bit about real life here. And what are the things that you like to do outside of the game? Well, I live in New Zealand. And one of my favorite hobbies is playing the flute. I've done it since I was little. And 
I play it in my church's music team and things like that. Oh, great. And so how long have you been playing the flute then? About 16, 16 years. Oh, okay. Excellent. And, and, so, and you have a, a band that you play with? Yep. Oh, wonderful. And obviously you've got to love writing because you do such a wonderful job with it. Yeah, I write when I get the ideas too, and most of the time it's about role play. Right, and you have a Tumblr that you uh, write on, isn't that correct? I do. At the moment I'm filling in some of the blanks for people so they know what happened to Kenna between when her parents left for Northrend and when the Silver Hand found her. Oh, wonderful. And if you don't mind, uh, can you tell the people your Tumblr? It's Kenna Olifos, Q-I-E-N-N-A-O-L-E-T-H-O-S dot Tumblr dot com. You bet. And folks, again, if you like a really great story, some, some of it is a little dark and may have some triggering things for you. But uh, keeping that in mind, if you like a wonderful story, uh, I highly suggest going and checking that out. Now, Kiana, do you find that role play helps with your writing or do you find it the other way around, your writing helps with your role play? I find role play helps with my writing. I find the best ideas I have come to me in the middle of role play. Like my best characters are ones where all the details get sorted out while I'm coming up with them on off the fly. Okay. Now, do you like to read as well or...? I do like to read. I don't get enough time to read, but I think most people would complain about that. <laughs> right. <laughs> and are you reading anything at the current time? I'm reading The Well of Eternity at the moment. Oh, great, great series. Great yep. book, yes. So, excellent. Well, there you go, folks. Loves to play the flute. Now, does Kiana play the flute at all in, in game? or? No, she doesn't. She was taught more housewife type skills. Oh, okay. All right, maybe one of her kids will uh, learn the flute. Hmm, it's a nice thought. Ah, aha, uh -huh. see, folks? <laughs> <laughs> Role play ideas come at any time, so excellent. Watch the space. <laughs> All right, so when we come back, folks, we're going to talk about uh, when Kiana first started role playing, some of the difficulties that she ran into, and get some advice for you new role players out there. So we'll be right back with that. All right, and we are back. And so, Kiana, when you first started role-playing in WoW, what was some of the harder things for you to learn or, or some of the difficulties that you came across as a new role-player? I think the hardest thing was just getting over my nerves. I mean, I spent a day or so just watching everybody else role-play and I didn't have the guts to step in and start myself. And then, well, I knew that I had to join a guild and I spent all of the next day writing my, out my application and then I didn't sleep the next night because I was scared they'd reject me. <laughs> well, that is actually very true for a lot of folks, actually. Uh, you know, just taking that first initial step and doing either a random walk-up or, you know, getting involved in a guild role play, a lot of times for a lot of folks, that's the hardest step to take. And so what advice would you give to those new role players that are wanting to start role playing? My best advice is to spend a little bit of time researching role play and different things like what would affect your character and stuff like this. As far as I know, the role play guide is still up on the WoW Insider site, even though they're not active anymore. And then join a guild. Figure out which guild has the role play you want to learn from and try and get into it. Well, that's exactly it. You know, finding a great guild that is willing to help you as a new role player, I think is paramount. And I know that's how I learned how to role play in WoW, by finding a great guild that took me under their wing, showed me how to emote and, and even how to walk. I, I didn't know how to walk. <laughs> I was running everywhere. And so they showed me, oh, you got to hit that slash key. Oh, wow. Okay. So learning how to walk and then, you know, how to 
do things in say, how to do things in emotes. In, in that, I think a guild is a great place to start because they're going to help you and they're not going to mock you if you get something wrong and they're going to help you with your lore and stuff. So I think that is excellent advice, ma'am. Excellent, excellent advice. And do you have any advice for any veteran role players out there? The best advice I'd have for veteran role players is to try and make sure you have balance because when you've been role playing for a long time and you get yourself heavily invested into a guild where you rise through the ranks and you become officer and whatnot, you can start to reach the point where role playing feels like a chore and you felt like you have to be there rather than you want to be there. And so make sure you have things in place so you can go away and take breaks and play other characters and things like that. That is a wonderful, wonderful advice, ma'am. Excellent. And so folks, when we come back, we are going to get some shout outs from Kiana and say goodbye to this wonderful, wonderful role player. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so, Kiana, who would you like to give a shout out to tonight? I would love to give a shout out to Talaman and the rest of the people in my guild, the Lord on Silverhand, and then Ehensa and Parthene, and Oribus, and obviously I can't miss out Tarkanus. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> yes, yes, we he can. He follows me on Tumblr. I can't <laughs> miss him. <laughs> we certainly cannot miss Tarkanus Rossborn. He is paramount for anything that we do here. Uh, <laughs> he might take more percentage from you if I don't. <laughs> I'm afraid, yes, yes, he, he will, <laughs> especially if this does not turn out good. So... <laughs> Well, it has been a lot of fun tonight learning all about Kiana, a little bit about you and your role play and getting some great advice for those new and veteran role players. Thank you so much for answering all of Turwinkle's pestering questions tonight. It's a pleasure. I'm glad to have met you. You bet. And so, folks, with that, we are going to head back to Light Hope's Chapel and give our final thoughts on this wonderful role player, uh, Kiana. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty folks, well we made it safe and sound back to Light Hope's Chapel. And boy Terwinkle, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Affirmative! Well let us give Kiana a wonderful thank you, sir. Allow me to express my deepest thanks. You bet. And so folks, if you like this episode, click that like button. If you would like to comment on this episode or on any of our other episodes, please do so below. Let us know what you liked and let us know what you didn't. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe, well, we would love to have you. So just hit that subscription button today. Well, excellent job as always, Turwinkle. And sir, we will see you next time. I'll miss you. We'll miss you too, Turwinkle. Bye-bye.